Hi everyone, we're going to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving uh, the region bounded by y equals 4 minus x squared, y equals 4, and x equals 2 uh, about the x-axis. Alright, so basically I kind of already sketched this. Um, this is y equals 4 minus x squared, that means our y-intercept is 4 and it opens down and uh, your zero occurs at x equals 2. All right, so looking at this graph, um, if I look at this part here for the cross section, this is going to be, um, this curve here is going to be um, x equals square root of 4 minus y, so that part. And this would be your y right in here. Alright, this is the shell in y. If I look at it, this one, same graph, if I do the washer method in x, this is going to be um, uh, the outside radius here. Alright. And this part here is going to, this whole thing equals 4. And then this part in here would be considered 4 minus x squared, because this is your y. This one would be the washer uh, method in 4 minus x squared, or in x. So, let's go ahead and use this method. We're revolving about the line uh, y, they're uh, revolving about the x-axis. So, in the washer method, we need to know the outside radius. The outside radius is going to equal 4, and the inside radius equals 4 minus x squared. And basically you can look at it like you do with area. Um, this is your upper bound, y equals 4, um, and this is your lower bound. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, substitute in, we're going to get the volume equals, uh, this is your formula for the washer method, <coughs> pi and then we're going from 0 to 2 on the x-axis. We're doing this with respect to x. And then r of x squared, so that's going to be 4 squared minus 4 minus x squared squared dx. All right. This is going to equal pi times the integral of 0 to 2 of 16 minus 16 minus uh, 8x squared plus x to the power of 4 dx. And what happens is these 16's are going to cancel out and we're going to end up getting uh, this equals pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of 8x squared minus x to the power of 4. Alright, let's integrate this. You're going to get pi times 8x divided by 3 cubed. This is going to be cubed there. Minus x to the power of 5 divided by 5. And we're integrating from 0 to 2. So we only have to use this 2. And that's going to give you um, equals pi. And then you're going to have 8 times 2 cubed is 8, divided by 3, minus uh, 2 to the 5th power is 32, divided by 5. Alright, this is going to equal, I can factor out a 32 because this is a 64, so this would be uh, 32 pi, then you'd have 2 thirds minus 1 fifth. And the common denominator is 15, so basically, uh, this would be uh, 10 minus 3 divided by 15. Whoops. 
getting too close. So let me go ahead and uh, do this. We have um, volume equals 32 pi. And then we'd have uh, 10 minus 3 divided by 15. Okay, this gives us 32 pi times 7 divided by 15. All right, so basically when you simplify all this, you're going to get uh, 224 pi divided by 15 units cubed. And that is your volume. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.